Okay. All right, so there's Peter Lee joining in. Okay, Bolivinaka, everyone. Aloha, Bolivinaka from, um, from Nandi and Hawaii. Uh -uh. This is Bolivinaka Sanita Fong, listening from California. Yes. Uh, Okay. Aloha, Bolivinaka, welcoming everybody. Nakavalevo for joining in uh, in this beautiful Talano session. So as you all know, uh, we have our motivational Monday Talano session where we get to uh, invite uh, uh, young and old older people to inspire our youths. Uh, in Fiji, but also in the Pacific, but also around the world. And so um, since the start of April, we have uh, um, used this platform to encourage our young people, yeah, especially on Mondays. So our Monday sessions are usually called Motivational Monday. So happy Motivational Monday to everybody. Vinaka, uh, Vinaka Vakalevo for uh, joining us today. It's a very special evening and we are so blessed to have um, Lisi uh, and uh, her beautiful daughter Maliana uh, connecting in from Nandi. Uh, and they will be sharing with us some inspirational stories. It will be a very short Talano session, but what we would like you to do is to connect with uh, their Facebook page and their uh, Instagram page, uh, where you can be able to um, learn more and see what this young girl has been doing. Yeah, so far. So to kickstart our talent, Noah, let's see if we can uh, uh, listen to this beautiful song from Rotuma. And let me see if I can do this uh, successfully. Uh, my IT person is not here. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so okay. give me a moment, ladies and gentlemen, uh, some technical um, thing I have to do here. Okay, I think I can manage. All right. Okay, so Bula Bulevinaka, thank you for joining in. And we will travel to the beautiful island of Ratuma. Yeah, okay, here we are. Raota uma arotuma, raota uma arotuma, nefu ewo, nefu ewo, ne pacifica. Oh, smile, oh, smile, oh, smile. 
Beautiful, wrong with Naka, Nanor to Serena Raku, a Serra member Leti Rotuma. So now I am Maori uh, to all our Tuma listeners that are connecting in from around the world, uh, especially to Leti La Mitchell and her beautiful family uh, connecting in from Brisbane. Uh, in Australia, the Mitchell family of Rotuma, uh, to Madam Maria Teringamoto, uh, wherever you are logging in from, Thierry, uh, as well in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, so a warm, beautiful greeting uh, now to mother and daughter team, uh, Maliana and Lisi, and they are connecting in from uh, the beautiful Jet Set town of Nandi. So Bulavinaka to you both. Bulavinaka Maliana, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, Vinaka. And mom, Lisi, what about you? Uh, very well, thank you. Mbula Vinaka to you, Dr. T, and also to uh, all the viewers out there. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to um, be here with us today. Uh, as I was saying to you both uh, uh, this morning, uh, or just a few minutes ago, that this morning I've been getting messages from uh, uh, friends who were so inspired by looking at the poster uh, of uh, Maliana. And, um, you know, this is a motivational mind session for young people. And it's so empowering on so many levels that we have young people like Maliana, uh, who is here today to share her story. So Maliana, would you like to do us a favor and uh, just introduce yourself to us a little bit about your name, uh, uh, how old you are and your family uh, connection to Fiji and Rotuma. Okay. My name is Maliana Eleanor Sito. I'm 13 years old and my dad is from Farema Malhaha Rotuma and my mom is from Nalotu Yawe Kandavu. 
and I have two brothers, Hefu and Peter. Hefu is 18 and Peter is 10 years old. Ah, we're not going to for uh, connecting us to Rotuma and also to the beautiful island of Kandavu. Uh, Lisi, would you like to introduce yourself as well to our audience? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, well, my name is Adeline um, and uh, my dad is, like Maliana said, my dad is actually from uh, Nalotu, Yawe, Kandavu. Um, and my mom is from Ndeledoni, uh, Benombalavu in Lao. Um, I have uh, four siblings. I have an older sister that has uh, passed away, an older sister that lives um, in Houston, Texas. And then I've also got a younger brother, uh, Samson Lee. Oh, is that a deal? Yeah, married to uh, Javi Eresito, and together we have three children. Uh, so Maliana is our middle child and our only girl. Wow, beautiful. How does it feel, uh, Maliana, to be the only girl? Good. <laughs> Do you, you feel that you are like a princess, maybe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. And we're just so blessed, so happy that you can be here with us. And of course, your, um, your momo will be Samson Lee, the fashion designer, Maliana? Yes. Wow. So in terms of his, uh, his uh, fashion line, which I follow very closely, and I had the opportunity to interview him last month, um, do you feel that the pathway that your uncle Samson and you uh, are kind of like maybe connected somehow? What do you think, Maliana? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, I think that I might be biased and say that must be the Kandavu side. <laughs> I'm sure your Erosito family will be like, no, 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 it's a Rotuma side, yeah? <laughs> but we're not going to be to both of you for, you know, for being here. Now for schooling, um, what school do you go to, Malian? I go to Fiji Agape Mission School. Wow, and what form are you in? I'm in year eight. Wow, and uh, what's the name of your teacher? Uh, Miss Sivoki. Miss Sivoki. And do you enjoy schooling? Do you like going to school? Yeah. And is there a particular subject do you always enjoy? Playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with Nako, with Nako I'm sure there's some creativity yeah, on that side. Yeah, me, me too, me too. I love playing too. Oh, with Nako, with Nako Valiyabu. Uh, Maliana, uh, what about you, Lisi? What school did you go to uh, when, when you were much younger? Um, well, I went to a variety of schools. I started off at uh, Yetsen um, Primary School. I also spent some time at uh, Andedakumbau School. And then I finished off at uh, Natambu High School here in the West. So after my um, high school, I actually attended uh, Brigham Young University in uh, Hawaii. Uh, so lived in Hawaii for about five years, uh, graduated from there, and then uh, moved uh, back home to Fiji. Wow. Oh, yeah. So we just celebrated late day today uh, yes. because it's the first of May. <laughs> yeah, first of May. And even flying, I just arrived from Honolulu. The flight attendant had flowers, uh, the haku on their heads. They look so beautiful. And uh, this morning I was walking along Waikiki and the only thing I could hear was the hula on the park. It was so beautiful. Oh, yeah, it was lovely. I just hear music everywhere. And uh, I think Everyone always look forward to May. Yeah? May is just flowers and color and color. And we just celebrated to the hula competition, the Merry Monarch Festival. Merry uh, Monarch. Yeah, last week, last week. Yeah, so Hila was very busy uh, on that as well. Now, the reason why we are here today is because of Maliana's creative idea and the business she has started, which is called the Maliana's um, uh, Scrunchies and Things. Now, Maliana, how did the idea of your business start? Um, during COVID, I had always had a love for scrunchies, and my mom was never a fan, and we became close, and she had told Uncle Sam, and Uncle Sam had told us to start our own business, and he had gave us some of his fabric, and he also gifted me his sewing machine, so that's wow. when we started. Reza, were you happy when he supported you that way? Yeah. Wow. Did you ask him or uh, like, how did the conversation go, Maliana? Did you remember? Uh, 
he offered to give it to us and he also offered to help us with our business. Wow, Vinaka Vakalev. Now for mom, Lisi, uh, what came to your mind when you saw that creativity from Maliana? Well, I think like what Maliana had mentioned, I, I personally am not a fan of scrunchies, mm -hmm. but um, um, in my conversations with my brother, Samson, uh, when I said, um, you know, Maliana really loves scrunchies and was thinking of doing it. So he was very supportive um, of the idea. And I don't think we would have started our business uh, without him. Um, his support that he's given just in terms of uh, gifting us a sewing machine, especially when it was COVID time. Uh, my husband had lost his uh, job um, with Fiji Airways. I was working on uh, reduced hours. So I think it was, it, it's something we probably wouldn't have thought about if COVID wasn't uh, there, but with COVID, um, I think everyone just thinks outside of the box. Eh? And um, for us as well, uh, we go to the uh, um, LDS church or the Mormon church. And I think um, during that COVID period, there was a lot of uh, lessons being taught just on um, self-reliance and things uh, we can do. Eh? But I think looking at it now, it's only been a little over a year since uh, we started a very small venture. Um, but I think if anything COVID has uh, taught us is, uh, for me personally, it's just trying to keep at least two different revenue streams uh, so that there's always a fallback. Eh? But a lot of the uh, start, as Maliana had mentioned, was really through the uh, support of um, my brother, Samson. Wow, it's so very so lovely. Eh? I think that's a lesson we all take from today's Talano, eh? the ability to support one another. And uh, that is so lovely. The idea came and the, the support itself through the, the sewing machine. Now, um, Maliana, why scrunchies? Um, <laughs> it's just easier to tie your hair and it's it looks better than rubber bands because it has like it has all those designs and all that. It looks uh, it looks prettier eh? on on your hair. Did did you start making your own before you decided to expand it a little bit? Like how did it go? Um, Mom had uh, brought one of her Chinese friends to teach me how to sew, and then I learned how to sew, and we were testing it. So every time I failed. Sometimes I would keep it, and sometimes I'd just make my own. Wow, Reva. So at uh, your age, you are 13 years old, you really wanted to learn sewing. And, um, and I think with the support of your uncle Samson and your mom, um, when you say fail, like what does that mean to you? Is it because something was, was not right the way you see it? Like how, how do you classify it when, uh, when you were sewing and it didn't look pretty to you maybe can you explain it uh the like the measurements weren't right or like it was too like short to tie around my hair twice right so you need to go twice yeah because yeah. you've got a very thick hair especially the rotuman hair <laughs> <laughs> oh Vinaka. and then how did it go when you were starting to kind of expand it a little bit more like when did, did you remember a particular moment where you were like you're sitting there maybe and saying to mom, uh, maybe I should expand this a little bit more. How, how did that go? It was okay. Yeah. Other things that you wanted to do. Oh, yeah. we, at COVID time, we started doing masks. Oh, you're right. Yeah. And, uh, and now we're doing tote bags and pouches. Wow, do you have some things to show us? I know you've, uh, you've got things to, to show us. So to our listeners, um, make sure you head to um, Malina, Maliana's uh, Instagram page and Facebook page. It is called Maliana's um, Scrunchies and Things. So would you like to share us a little bit about that? This is yeah. our plastic pouches. Wow. Okay. These designs are my uncle Happy. He gave us his fabric. Right. So from the scrunchie to the bag, how did that work for you, Nugulel? Like uh, you decided to think, okay, that's from the scrunchies for your hair, and then you start to look at other materials that you want to make your pencil case and bags. How does it uh, go for you? 
it's well mom hired a, a tailor to sew some because i have to balance with school and swimming wow sad did no ah rave because school is very important so lisi as a mother how did you kind of negotiate that time for Maliana to keep schooling and now her business going at the same time? I think during COVID time, it was a lot easier because um, there was a lot of time at home. Uh, the school Maliana went to had uh, online classes, um, but I think it was a good test for her just in terms of at times she'd get carried away and probably spend too much time on the sorting of fabric where it was like, okay, enough of that, my dear, you had got to do your schoolwork as well. Uh, but now that they're back to school uh, full time, uh, a lot of the time is really spent on her coming up with uh, new ideas on how we can uh, slowly um, expand and not just sell things on uh, social media, but also look at uh, different avenues eh, uh, where our products uh, can go into. Right. So apart from social media, uh, what other avenues have you thought about to, to sell your goodies? So you've got the scrunchies and you've got your bags. Um, we're currently supplying to Malolo uh, Beach Resort. Wow. Congratulations. Raiva. So uh, were you happy when Malolo Beach Resort approached you to sell your stuff there? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Man, you can imagine now the airport is open and tourists are coming. They'll be buying your stuff. Yeah. Wow, Reza. So, um, so in terms of uh, expanding it to other hotels, are you thinking of going maybe beyond Malolo? Are you thinking of that too? Are there other interests from other hotels? No, not yet, but we're planning to supply to some PG resorts. Wow. Yeah. There will be some people listening today, right now. I know Susie Shaw, auntie, that's your auntie. She's from Kandavu. Auntie Susie, you sure she's listening today? Can you get some Mal Malianas crunches to sell in Levuka uh, in your hotel? <laughs> So there will be some people listening today and it's just so encouraging, Maliana, that you, you know, thought of using like the scraps of material, but you turn it into something creative. That is really amazing. Now, Lissy, what would you say to parents who are listening in today, you know, by looking at Maliana's example that, uh, you know, she's schooling, but she's deciding to do a business on the side. What would you say to parents? I think a lot of it has to here in the islands. Um, many times, I think we as parents just shut kids out or your idea is crazy. Um, for me, I think it was um, really for my line of work, I was out of home most of the time. Eh? So COVID time actually allowed me to stay at home a lot more, uh, get to know the children. And I think just in terms of listening to what their interests are, um, not everyone could be academic and become lawyers or doctors, but I think if we as parents learn to nurture that at a very young age um, and, you know, just do what we can to support our children in the interest that they have, um, it really goes far, right? Wow, man, dear Nasaranga. I think that's a really good point, Lisa, yeah, that we as parents, yeah, sometimes we are so busy with work and uh, we don't have time to. I really like the, what you said, you listened, you know, to your children. Uh, Maliana, was it easy for you to share your ideas with mom and dad? Yes. Oh, what about your friends? Uh, what did your friends say when they started to see your bags? And the ones, can you show it up once one more time? They look so pretty. Wow, Reza, the Nakavaka Levu. And I noticed, you know, the picture that mom sent, which is a, a bag that is on your side as well, like a large one. Are those added to the scrunchies and those ones too? Yeah. Yes. Wow, Reza, the Nakavaka Levu. What did your friends say when they started to see that your business was? kind of like getting popular. They think it's cool that I know how to sew because it's hard. 
Yes, and Diana Saranga. And for you as a 13 year old, and I'm sure there's uh, uh, moms and, and aunties and boomboos that are listening in today who always want to teach others to sew. Um, so who would you give the credit to for teaching you how to sew, Mal Maliana? Mom. Yeah, yeah. She a to work friend in. Dear Nasaranga, if you didn't do that, Lisi, eh? Uh, Maliana, can say that you can't do that. You're not a saranga. And also for yeah, your mom, mom doesn't know how to sew as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you are you're working together as a team, then, Lisi? Yes, yes, so um, it was a great time because during COVID, um, I work for Rosie Holidays and we have a lot of our Chinese staff that come all the way from China and we're in. And I knew of one particular one that, uh, um, you know, just to assist her, I paid her to actually come over and do a couple of sewing lessons yeah. uh, with Maliana. Wow. So that, that opened the door to have the business up and running, yeah? Now you also mentioned about social media. Um, people, uh, did people order through Instagram, Maliana? Yeah, but most of them were from Facebook. Wow. And how does that work? Now there are some people messaging me now. They want to, to place their order. How does it work if they want to place their order through Facebook or Instagram? They just uh, message us. Okay. So they message you and it's in Maliana's? Maliana's scrunchies. Maliana scrunchies and things. Yeah. So for those of you who are messaging me, um, that'll be really nice if we support uh, Maliana's uh, business venture. And uh, she has uh, uh, expanded her business from home in Nandi and selling through Malolo Beach Resort. And I know there are some of my friends who are in the big hotels. Um, and if you are listening in, please uh, contact Lisi and uh, Maliana. Uh, they would really love to see um, their, you know, the scrunchies and the beds and the pencil cases to be sold in your shops. Um, what are your plans after this, Maliana? Um, now you're still in school. Mom, still, mom and dad still want you to go to school. What is your future aspiration? Uh, we're working on our own sublimation designs. So we're like planning to make some tote bags with them or pouches and uh, sell them or like maybe sell them in Fiji resorts. Wow. All right. So your interest is into design and business. Would that be right? Yeah. Wow. Now there are some young people listening in tonight. What would you like to say to them on two things? Like uh, the, if they have some talent in sewing or a talent in business maybe, what would you like to tell them? To work hard and never give up and listen to your parents. <laughs> wow, very good, I like that, see? Right, that listening to your parents, that is so true. Because eh? um, if you didn't listen to mom and li did listen to dad, you, we would not be sitting here, eh, Malian? Yeah. Yeah, Reva, that's a blessing. That's indeed a very, a very important blessing. Lisi, what would you like to say to the point that Maliana just, uh, just shared there in terms of working hard and listening to their parents. Yeah, and I think um, for the business from my side, the working hard bit is there. Uh, sometimes I have to nudge her or push her a bit more, but I think it's also understanding the whole scope of it uh, just from a sustainable perspective. Eh? So for Maliana, for her, it was like really trying to teach her that um, her two uncles, uh, Samson um, and also Hupfield Herder, who's her uncle from the Rituman side, them providing the off cuts eh? also ties in well on uh, sustainable practices where all the little pieces of fabric, things that they wouldn't generally use, uh, she's having to make use of it. Eh? But another, I think, uh, great learning um, in this small business ventures is um, just on the finance side as well. Um, I think whenever we talk about it, she sees the price for something, but now she has a better understanding on things like 
writing receipts um, in terms of uh, keeping the books. We just have two big pouches where Maliana knows any expense for the business, anything going out goes in one pocket and anything coming in goes in another pocket. Eh? Uh, so just understanding as well that whilst there's creativity, when you're starting something small, it's uh, looking at the business um, in a holistic approach. Eh? Um, and in addition to that, I think just the uh, support that we get uh, from family, and even friends um, that order, we have some orders that come from abroad, you know, knowing what's the best way to send those over to sometimes just to send stuff over. Uh, the cost of the sending is more expensive than the items that we sell itself. So we're really grateful to our um, overseas supporters as well um, that have supported us from uh, day one. And um, my, my, I would say for us, um, starting up small, the social media aspect, we really uh, relied a lot on um, Samson and his um, harsh but sometimes very true critique that he would have on how post things are done. Um, as a mother, I think we also invested on having Maliana take a photography class. It was just a beginner's class uh, where they learned how to work with different lighting, um, and um, a friend of mine, Michelle Chia, who's a photographer, helped her out um, and did that uh, initial class uh, and also uh, assisted us in the first photo shoot that we had, um, which is one of the poster images that you use, Dr. T. Wow, Rave. See, so all these opportunities come opened up, eh? Photography. How do you like photography now, Malian? It's nice and the lightings are all good. Wow, Reva. Because presentation, right, is all, all part of it, yeah? Glamera, uh, for your clients, they will be looking at things and they need to, uh, to have the, like with Michelle Chia, acknowledging her. Bolivinaka uh, Michelle, wherever you're listening from, Vinaka Vakalevo for helping out uh, with photography. That is amazing. Yeah, Now, before we conclude our, our Talano today, um, I'll give you the opportunity, Maliana, if there are people that you would like to thank uh, that uh, has helped you this far, because your business is uh, a year old, but we know it's going to go very far. And I know there were people who helped you. Uh, who, what would you like to say to them? I would like to thank my customers for their supporting and my two uncles, Uncle Happy and Uncle Samson, and my parents. Uh, would you like to uh, do a shout out to your classmates at school? Some of them might be listening right now. What would you like to say to them? Um, nothing much. <laughs> so you can just tell them, see you at school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and keep listening to teacher. Yeah, keep listening to the teacher at school. Vinaka, vinaka wakalevu, um, uh, Maliana for uh, representing. Is it Fiji Agape School, right? Fiji Agape. Fiji Agape Mission School. Mission School. So Fiji Agape Mission School. So to all the teachers of Fiji Agape uh, Mission School and all the students of Fiji Agape, we say bula uh, vinaka to you all and noaia. And Maori, uh, thank you for listening in and uh, supporting Maliana's Talano session today. And uh, she's uh, just so inspiring uh, that she is here to share uh, her business that she has been running for a year now. It is called Maliana's Crunches and Things. Uh, Lissy, I would like to give you the time now. Uh, if there are people you would like to acknowledge uh, for the support uh, that they've given to the family, particularly for her business, supporting your family when you needed it the most. Uh, this is your time, Lisi. Um, I think for us, first and foremost, is just thanking Maliana for um, just the perseverance eh, in um, trying to adapt to the uh, small business world. But uh, I'm grateful to um, all our families, both my husband's family and my family, a uh, special acknowledgement as well um, to the grandparents um, on both sides of the family. Um, Samson, we keep mentioning Samson because I think uh, due credit's given to him for 
um, the initial support and the uh, continued uh, support that he's given us um, throughout this venture. Other than that, we've also got uh, Maliana's uncle uh, Hapfield um, Herda, who uh, also provides us with some of his uh, fabric remnants that allows us to produce some beautiful uh, pieces. Um, but at the same time, I think it's just thanking um, all our customers for their continued uh, support. Maliana mentioned uh, Malolo Island Resort. So um, she's uh, very fortunate to have her products um, being sold. And we always receive updates whenever there are different purchases. Um, but for us, I think um, we're just um, thankful to everyone um, that has bought from us or will uh, continue to uh, support us in this business moving forward. Wow, you've been getting here some uh, really amazing comments coming through, if I can read a few, if that's okay. Uh, this Auntie Susie show, uh, she was watching, Wolvinaka Susie. Uh, thank you so much for listening in and supporting Maliana's business. Uh, we're looking forward to have uh, uh, the, I think, um, the Old Capital Inn. I think that's the name of her business. And also she runs uh, the Nukulevu Island Resort in uh, uh, close to Natov, yeah? Nakvakalevo, uh, and also your uncle Samson is watching. Yay! <laughs> also acknowledging a few uh, friends here connecting in from Dubai. Bolivinaka uh, Safaira Ogden, thank you so much for logging in, and they love your bags. Yeah, so there you go, Maliana. And also, there's a school teacher uh, who's recruitment as well, Master Arone Kitulele. Bolivinaka, Master Arone, Vinakabakalevu na Vararongo Chukumai Dubai. Uh, thank you for your support and hope that you can uh, buy as many bags and send it over to the Middle East. Uh, we need a lot of Pacific Fijian colors in the Middle East. Bolivinaka Chopin Baloni Lotu, Chonevat, Talofalava, they all connecting in from Sydney and Samoa. Wow, Reida. So we just wanted to take this time to thank you both mom and daughter. Vinakovakalevo uh, Maliana for um, spending this time with us today. We are very privileged. Uh, and also thanks to uh, Sanita, uh, Sanita Fong, Vinakovakalevo Nungulewa for connecting me to uh, Lisi and uh, Maliana today uh, through the Kandavu side and also the Rotuma side, we have to acknowledge, and the Lao side, we have to mention that uh, because of all the creativity uh, to allow Maliana to run her business uh, very well. Eh? So, Vinakovakalevu to both of you. Lisi, is there anything else you would like to say before we finish? No, I just wanted to thank you, um, Dr. Tarisi, for your time as well, uh, taken in uh, having this short interview and uh, thank you to all the viewers as well out there that have tuned in. And Maliana, one last, uh, or anything else you want to say or shout out to your friends? Uh, thank you for having us. So thank you so much to both of you. I bid you goodbye and uh, I will definitely be in touch and there will be those who will be checking up your Instagram page and Facebook page and we'd love to support your amazing business, Maliana. Congratulations and all the very best. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that's a beautiful interview with Nakamaliana, Nakavakalevu Lisi for joining us on this beautiful afternoon on a Monday evening at six o'clock. And we're just so, so proud of Maliana Eracito uh, for sharing with us her story. Her journey, her story can inspire another young person who may be listening in tonight. All of us, we have talents. God gave us talents. And so it's very important for parents today that we learn and heard from Lisi the importance of us as parents to listen to our children and observe the different talents, uh, the different strengths that they have. So today Maliana has done just that and has strengthened us with the different um, skills and the interests of sewing and also the support from her mom, Samson Lee, as well as um, Happy, Uncle Happy, 
Vinaka, uh, Vinaka Bakalevo for the whole family from Ratuma, from Kandavo, from Lao uh, for the wonderful support to Maliana's crunchies and things. So check her out, go to the Instagram, like her page, follow, and also do the same with Facebook, like her page and follow. Don't just follow and watch, please buy something um, and support Maliana. Okay? Vinaka Bakalevo, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Asavaka Mwadi Chukani Hawaii. Ni sa mwade, ni mwade takumanda. Naka. Bye. Naka maliana. Bye-bye. Naka lisi. Naka. Naka mwade. Wow. Thank you. Thank you again. Naka malevu Samson for joining in. Naka malevu Sanita. Saifaira Ogden. Yes, such a very, very inspiring talanoa. Naka malevu Margaret Fonorito. We came together na wekanda mairotuma. Lovely to have Maliana uh, joining us today and representing the beautiful island of Rotuma and sharing with us that, yes, if she can do it, you can too. So to our young people out there, yeah, if you like singing, right, if you like sewing, yeah, you can turn it into a business. That's exactly what Maliana has done. So really thanking um, the Malolo Island Resort or Malolo Beach Resort for um, supporting her. And I know that her story will inspire uh, other businesses, other outlets uh, that can, um, you know, purchase her work, uh, her, her scrunchies, her bags, her pencil cases, and just such bright, bright colors. If you go on her Instagram page, you will truly, truly enjoy it. And such a wonderful, wonderful example. The Nakabakalev Sara to everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, in the next few hours, uh, we will be joined by Senimili Soku uh, at eight o'clock Fiji time. Uh, for us to hear more inspirational stories from our young men and women in Fiji, and hopefully their story will inspire our youths of Fiji and Oceania and around the world. Happy May Day. Uh, from uh, the beautiful islands of Hawaii. Binaka Wakalev for your time. Nisamwadi.